Hi, Merry Christmas. Uh, my present to you is a Christmas carol that um, I will be speaking rather than singing, and that's two presents in one. Um, in the old days, it was really popular to get married at Christmas, as if to do so would cause Santa Claus to bestow his best wishes on the Union. And in fact, the most popular Christmas carol of the 1800s was about a Christmas Day wedding where things didn't go quite so well, though. It's called The Mistletoe Bow, and it went like this. The mistletoe hung in the castle hall, and the holly branch shone in the old oak wall. The baron's retainers were blithe and gay in keeping the Christmas holiday. And the baron beheld with the father's pride his beautiful child, Lord Lovell's bride. And she, with her sparkling eyes, seemed to be the star of the goodly company. I'm tired of dancing now, she cried. Here, tarry a moment, I'll hide, I'll hide. And Lord Lovell, be sure thou art first to trace a clue to my secret hiding place. And away she ran, and her friends began each tower to search and each nook to scan. And Lord Lovell cried, Oh, where dost thou hide? I'm lonesome without thee, my fair bride. And they sought her that night, and they sought her the next day. And they sought her in vain as a week passed away. In the highest, the lowest, the loneliest spots, Lord Lovell searched wildly, but found her not. And as the years went by, his grief at last was told as a sorrowful tale long past. And when Lovell appeared, the children would cry, See the old man, he weeps for his fairy bride. And at length an old chest that had long lain hid was found in the castle, and they raised the lid. A skeleton form lay moldering there in the bridal wreath of his lady fair. Oh, how sad a day, when in the sport of jest she hid from her lord in that old oak chest, and it closed with a spring and a dreadful doom and the bride lay clasped in a living tomb. Merry Christmas and happy holidays.